Peace to lovies, it's Amira, also known as Blissfully Mindful, back at you with another Mindful Living Chit Chat. Today, talking about the week I had, so stay tuned. Hey, you got it? Good girl, good girl. Yay. This is her puzzle thing that she has to like get the food from in the little white thingy, then she just got that one on her own, so she was like, Chopping down, she used to prep herself. Oh, she's about to get another. emotional roller coaster week. I, I was so frustrated this week. I feel like I haven't made any progress in areas of my life and not understanding why. And honestly, the best analogy that I had was I've been feeling like, you know, life, you're supposed to, everything in life, everything in the universe is a balanced equation. Like it, it's, everything is always balanced. And I've been feeling like you know, my life hasn't been very balanced. Like, I felt like, you know, you go to the grocery store, you pick thing items and you put them in your cart. And then when you're, you've got everything you need, you go and you pay for it. You know, you in exchange for all the things in your cart, you, you know, in exchange you give cash and you get your food and you take it home. Well, I've been feeling like I've been going to the grocery store, giving my cash and not getting my food. That's the best way that I can describe kind of the frustration that I've kind of been feeling like I'm just putting in so much work, so much effort and not getting anything back. And then, you know, came to, I guess, an epiphany, just kind of realizing that I have made some progress. It's just not progress in the way that I want to see it. I guess it doesn't look the way that I wanted it to look or that I expected it to look. And so just kind of feeling frustrated about that but just each time i was feeling this you know high level of frustration I, the one thing that i could do because i just when things come like that when i'm feeling like that i just it's best to just let it go flow on through because resisting it only makes it worse you know resistance is futile <laughs> for my uh, turkeys out there <laughs> resistance is futile you know so that much i have been just making sure that I stay present so whenever I kind of got in like these heightened levels of frustration I was just kind of bringing myself back and just you know to the breath because that is that's been the most uh, helpful way for me to kind of instantly bring it back and so one thing that I do do is you know just focus on the breath stay very present you all mm, check out this book I'm reading it's so good um, peace is every step it's so good um, I'm gonna put the link in the description box below because it's so good. It's an audiobook, you all know. I've been doing my audiobooks, but I'm loving it like in my car when I'm charging it. I just play it and I'm loving it. But anybody anyway, that's just saying, you know, this little practice I've been doing is very simple and it's just, you know, breathe in and I'll take a deep breath in. And then I'm just saying to myself, I know that I'm breathing in, and then as I exhale, I know that I'm breathing out. Just honestly, just doing that throughout the day kind of gets me centered again and gets me back on track so yeah I've been just doing that little things like that mostly that though all week and it's definitely been helping it's got me back on the right track as far as my perspective and my perception of things and just noticing the things that I have made progress in and not discounting any of it or devaluing myself mainly because if I'm looking at myself and it's like oh you know I'm just such a failure and nothing's working and, and life sucks and stuff like that you know I'm just really devaluing myself and so just had to kind of come back into the knowing of that and the thing that I kind of came into um came to the realization of also was just that I have to balance my own life out just like literally notice that I've kind of gotten off track with doing things 
that I enjoy, that, that I love, that I'm passionate about, that, you know, make me feel good, give me all the warm and fuzzies. And I just haven't been doing a lot, enough of that. I've been doing too much of the things that I don't like. <laughs> you know, the, you know, the things like go to work, things that you have to do because you obviously you have to earn a living, you know, you have to maintain. So yeah, just, just doing that and not getting any joy from it, but not also balancing it out with more things that I do enjoy. So just kind of been in the rat race and not really, you know, so I just kind of had to bring myself back because I got to do, I got to do the things that I actually enjoy. I can't just, you know, life sucks in that way. And then you are going to start to devalue yourself and you're going to start to feel like, you know, you're not doing what you want to do. You know, life isn't fulfilling and you want to do something that you're passionate about so i definitely even little things like there's you all i'm so basic <laughs> i like the simple things like i love um i just found this new store i don't know if you all checked it out home home sense anyway i love the store it was so nice and i like stuff like that like when there used to be pier one i oh my gosh i could like go and walk through there for like an hour <laughs> But I just like to walk through the store and just look at stuff and kind of visualize how it look in my house and stuff like that. I love stuff like that. It's simple, but I love to do it. I like to go to the mall, to the furniture store. I, I'm just a home person. Like I like all things home. So I always like to go to furniture stores, see what the new style of furniture is, visualize it again in my house and how it would look. And oh, I would put this there and I would, you know, it, it, it helps me to keep the creative juices flowing. And so stuff like that, I love to do that. So I gotta just start doing, even if I'm just getting the car and go to the mall and do that, I love doing that though. It feels good. Like I get so much gratification from it. And so not doing those little things you know as small as they seem to be they're obviously major in my life and they keep my life balanced and they give my life meaning and it makes it more fulfilling and so that's what ended up happening you all just kind of got off track not doing those little things that I like to do I like to go to the movies I like to go see friends sometime um I did that yesterday and that was so fun. It was so fulfilling. I, it felt good. I feel refreshed. Like, as you can see today, if you had just seen me a couple days ago, I was not in this space. But you know, now that I've kind of balanced myself back out, you know, I'm feeling better again. Um, making some little changes around my, uh, in my tiny apartment. I'll show you all later because I'm not finished. <laughs> it's like a work in progress, but I'm just doing some like space savings things, projects in here to kind of give us a little more walking space. It's so tight in here and I just want to like just do some little projects here that I can do. So those are things I can do that I can control that you know and that I enjoy doing. I like like decorating and stuff like that. I like oh my god. I can watch HG I can binge watch HGTV. Like I like that, but that brings me joy. Like it may seem silly to some, but I like doing that. I like to just go on my phone and scroll on my Pinterest your own um, pinterest i have like all things home like <laughs> minimalism home decor and space saving home decor just stuff like that i love stuff like that so yeah but just doing stuff that simple but it brings me joy i love looking at all the creative ideas and the ingenuity of people and i i'm like so in awe of some of the things that people come up with um, um pinch i love pin pinterest is such a way to manifest like i'm serious i love it because it like every time you know i get in that space and i i purposely turn on my notifications on pinterest so that i make sure i go on there because i don't like to see that little number on my phone so i purposely um turn on the notifications on pinterest so i remind myself go on there and look at something that you actually enjoy you know you actually enjoy that gives you that little spark that you need and that boost that you need sometimes so i like to do that um it has all the things i like i have like vegan recipe oh my gosh then i look at their the vegan recipes and get all hungry <laughs> like oh i need to get these ingredients i want to make this We're making new vegan recipes that too and right now um want to shift my diet just a little bit tweak it a little more do um more veggie dishes 
that I haven't tried before, you know, like with straight veggies, no meat substitutes. You all know I'm cutting down, I'm cutting back, I'm scaling back on the meat substitutes. And I just want to get more creative because me spending time being creative, I'm an artist, so I need to always be creating. And whether it's a recipe or I'm writing a, another book or whatever I'm doing, I need to create. If I'm not creating, I'm feeling miserable. If I need to sing, I need to sing. I need to do something creative. If I'm not doing that, I always find myself back in this space and then I get all down and then it's like, oh, you know, I'm not inspired and nothing's inspiring. And I'm just feeling so crappy. And so when I have to constantly be in a space of creativity, otherwise I get just, that's just how I get. So just cranky, not fun to be around, all of that. So anyway, that's the tea. That's what I've been doing this week. It's been a week, you all, but um, definitely I'm in a much better space today. Um, it was so good to see my friend yesterday. And it was him. <laughs> that i know this week i'm going to have a much better week because guess what i'm going to balance it out okay i have to balance it out like with the things that i enjoy i have to get back to you know having a kind of a more rigid routine of things that make me happy and bring me joy because that it, it's just like you schedule you know you schedule going to work and you schedule all these things you schedule getting your nails done and your hair done and whatever else you schedule doctor's appointments you schedule these things like it's no problem to schedule things that make you happy so if i have to schedule it that's what i have to do like i i love to wake up um, do some yoga. I like to drink some chai tea, which I'm completely out of right now. I'm devastated. Have to order it ASAP <laughs> because like it is a part of my morning routine and it brings me happiness. I love my chai latte <laughs> like in the morning, like I have to have it. Um, just like people need their coffee. Well, I need my chai latte. So I've got to order that because I don't have it. And see, look, it's, it's thrown my whole day off balance. But yeah, I like to do that. I like to get up, do my yoga, um, do a light meditation. And the meditation, honestly, I'm a more creative meditator. It's like all day meditation, whether I'm I'm cooking, I'm, uh, that's a meditation for me, you know, because if I'm cooking with a very heightened awareness of every step that I'm taking in the cooking process, you know, any heightened awareness activity, that's meditation. So whether I'm walking a dog, you know, it could be a meditation, a walking meditation, anything. So I, for me, meditation is, is all day because there's so many things that for me are meditative. So yeah. So doing more of that, those things bring me joy. And hey, looking at all my home things, you know, my home decor things, love all that stuff. Um, my gardening, oh, the gardening's very, oh my goodness, so therapeutic for me. I'm definitely enjoying that. But getting even more into my gardening. So that's what I have for you today. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it helps someone. And comment below if you all go through this, you have these moments, are having these moments right now. Um, I hope some of the things that I do help you out. Um, if you know, and if you have some extra ones, please put those in the comments below because I always am open to some new um, techniques for living this blissful life. I'm always looking for that. And oh my goodness, he is so funny, the dog. I know you all, this noise has you've been hearing the whole video, but. I probably should have recorded it after she ate, but it is what it is. I had to, I, you know me, I'm just like in the moment. <laughs> and I was feeling it, make the video right now. I'm not about like, I don't know, I just didn't want to do it later. So anyway, I will see you all next time. If you have not already done so, subscribe to my channel. I will always keep it blissful for you. Always keep it mindful. And <laughs> I can't, I'm looking at the dog, she's so funny. She's really trying to get this food but yes i will always keep it blissful I will always keep it mindful head over to my blog at blisslymindful.life i love you all so much sunflower smooches peace and love and i'll see you next time Mwah.